Well, Daniel Pena officially departs the A-League. Some movement at Melbourne victory and Milos Ninkovic set to move to Crosstown Rivals Western Sydney Wanderers. It's been a crazy week in early transfers. Here's it all recapped in one video. Starting off with the Milos Ninkovic news. It was officially announced a few days ago that the Serbian has officially left Sydney FC. They did finally after, it was a few weeks ago, of course, that whole dilemma where Ninkovic posted that video on his personal Instagram. Sydney FC was scrambling. A few weeks after that, they've finally given Ninkovic their farewell. And there are strong links from all over the place, Milos Ninkovic, to a move to Western Sydney Wanderers. It would be absolutely massive. It would be one of the most insane moves we've seen in A-League history. And it would take that Sydney derby next season to another level. But for the Sky Blues, they have managed to re-sign Captain Alex Wilkinson and young striker Patrick Wood, who are continuing on for the next season. Shifting over to the west side of Sydney, Wanderers are continuing their busy rebuild. They have, by far, have been the most productive club this offseason. They have signed Oliver Bazanic. Of course, plenty of confusion around the situation with Bazanic at Mariners for the last few months of the recent A-League season. He has officially joined Wanderers on a two-year deal. It's a good pickup for Western Sydney. Wanderers have made another international signing by bringing in Yeni Mbukoto, a winger. He's 30 years of age. Has played some football in, in the Championship in England as well as Ligue 1 in France. And right back, Gabriel Cloer has returned to the club after spending some time with the Wanderers Academy a number of years ago. He's been playing his football in Italy most recently. He returns to the club on a three-year deal. Some movement to report at Melbourne Victory. Some pretty big departures. And the first one is Jason Davidson, who was arguably the best left back in the competition last season. He scored a move over to Belgium. It is a great move for Davidson, who I'm sure has aspirations of being in that World Cup squad come November. And Brendan Hamill, who was really sold for Victory this past season, is apparently heading over to India. Victory, though, have locked down Matt Spiranovic for the upcoming season. Season, though hopefully he can stay injury free for this upcoming campaign. And a rumor from Aussie Scout on Twitter, Paul Izzo, of course, the former Adelaide United Central Coast Mariners goalkeeper, has been linked with Melbourne Victory. An interesting one, considering even Calava seems to be the first choice there at Victory. Paul Izzo, I can't see him coming all the way back to Australia just to sit on the bench. It's quite an interesting one. An update on the Charlie Austin move to Brisbane Raw, which we first touched on in last week's transfer recap video. He's reportedly currently undergoing a medical at Brisbane Raw. The move is set to happen. It's a great pickup for Brisbane and a great pickup for the A-League. A busy week for the Central Coast Mariners this past week as well. Garen Kowal is the big one. He has signed a pro contract locking him down for the next two years. It is a great move for the Mariners to lock down what is arguably the most exciting talented youngster in the A-League. And a former young Mariners star has returned. A bit of a surprise one, but Sam Silvera, who was playing his football at Newcastle last season, has shifted down the F3 back to Central Coast Mariners where he had some game time a few seasons ago. And some re-signing news for the Mariners. Benny Incololo, who won the club's goal of the season award. He's re-signed for the next couple of years. Meanwhile, Stormru and Yaren Souza have re-signed for the upcoming season. And lastly, there is word from Aussie Scout on Twitter that Nectarios Triantis from the Western Sydney Wanderers Academy could be linked with a move to the Mariners. Some disappointing news for Newcastle Jets fans. Daniel Pena has officially departed the club. He won't be returning for next season. We did know this for a little while, but it has finally been confirmed that Pena will be moving overseas to a club somewhere in Asia. But the Jets have wasted no time in reinforcing their attack by signing Wellington Phoenix winger Reno Piscopo on a two-year deal, a really decent pickup for the Jets. Not a direct replacement for Pena. I think Newcastle will still look to bring someone else in, but Piscopo, really promising signing. And again, another Aussie scout tweet linking Mark Natsar, the Western Sydney Wanderers centre back to a move to the Jets. Melbourne City might have just signed their replacement for the departing Connor Metcalf. Richard van der Ven, a 30-year-old Dutch midfielder, has joined the club on a two-year deal. Really interested to see how he goes in the A-League. Perth Glory have made a fairly impressive defensive signing in this past week. Mark Beavers, 32 years of age, the Englishman has joined the club from Western Australia. Looks like a decent pickup. He's plays with football in the Championship, League One in England, and could make a really solid partnership in defence alongside Daryl Latchman for glory. Costa Barbarousis has rejoined Wellington Phoenix for his third stint at the club. He joins on a two-year deal. Of course, Costa has had success at Sydney FC and Melbourne Victory. A good pickup for Wellington, in my opinion. Adelaide United have secured one of their most promising young players. Bernardo Oliveira has re-signed for the next few seasons, while James Delinov, the goalkeeper, this one's a bit of an interesting one for me, has signed on for the next two years. It'll be quite fascinating to see who starts in goals for Adelaide next season. Will it be Joe Gauci, who really impressed last season? Will it be Delianov, who started over Gauci in the past? Or will Gauci maintain his spot as the first choice keeper of the Reds? And lastly, the Bulls have extended contracts of two of their current players, Jake McGing and Charles Mombwa. So another big week of A-League transfers. Which one caught your eye? Let me know down in the comments. The big one for me, Milos Ninkovic, looking like he's heading to Western Sydney Wanderers. Hasn't been officially confirmed at the time of this video, but keep an eye on it. It's going to be massive. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button. It does help me out a whole lot. My name's Lockie. This is Coast Football, and I'll see you in the next one.